Welcome to High School Rewind on Xfinity On Demand. I'm Austin Wolford, and tonight we're at Kearns High for the final game of the regular season. Kearns and Judge are battling for the number two spot in Region 6. Um, Kearns won the first matchup this year by three points, and uh, Judge is looking to even the score tonight. Tanner Riley, the six foot two senior, leads the Bulldogs in points and steals. He's my lookout player of the game, so look out for him. And anyways, uh, it's about that time, so let's send you the tip-off. So here we go. And the tip-off goes the judge. Tanner Riley controls. Looks it over the 23. Here they go. Trying to work the ball down into the post. They do. The ball's been fought for. Still kept by Judge. Nice pass. Slides it right up and under. Doesn't get it to go. The rebound goes to number one, Bushman Ebets. And here comes Kearns. Kearns setting it up. They bet up top. Bet drives, slips it up, rolls in and out. Rebound to Judge. Here comes Judge. Tanner Riley controlling the point. Ryan Pauly just got off of Tanner. They're trying to work it down low again. Number 25. That's Caden Ellis. Ball stolen. Here comes Ebet. Spin move laid up. Blocked. Blocked by number 15 of Judge. That would be Ryan Pauly, team captain. Here comes Tanner Riley. Going, flips it up high. If off the glass and in. There's number four. Oda of the, uh, the Kurds working the ball around. Here's a pull-up jumper inside the three. That's number two, Haley. Mikkel Haley. Nice little pull-up jumper like it was easy. He's getting the crowd fired up on the other side. So Judge looking, number 31 with the ball. That is Trey Bordeaux. And they're working the ball around. They're going to get into Trey. He's going to kick it back out. And off the screen, trying to create some space. He's going to drive, pump, throw it up. He's fouled. And number 15, Ryan Polly will go to the line. So he knocked down the first, and he knocks down the second. Here's Haley controlling the ball, gets it over to number 33, Vines. Vines drives, throws it up, and it goes. Makes the basket and the foul. He'll go to the line for a three-point attempt. So Vine knocks down the free throw, and he's got himself a three-point play. So here's Judge, number 23. The ball kicks it 25 inside, 15. That's Polly fighting down low, can't get nothing. Loses the ball, it's stolen by 15 of the Kearns Cougars. Here he comes, he's gonna do a nice little juke move, try and find someone. Gets it back up top, they'll set it up to Oda. He gets it over to Ebet, Ebets. And he works it to Ailey. Ailey dribbles, he gets it to Oda. Back and forth they go. Haley looking inside, he's got his man down low, he's gonna back his way in. Turn, put it up, blocks, loose ball, he's still got it. Goes up strong again, this one looked like it might have been a foul, but no call. And two Kearns players run into each other and Odoak comes, up way with it up, comes away with it up top. He's gonna make a move, pull up jumper, it's up, it's on the way and good. Sunday Oda knocks down a jumper. Seven to four in favor of the Kearns Cougars. Riley gets the ball off to number 25. And there's a pull up jumper by Pauly and he knocks down the tray, it's seven seven. Oda decides to pull up jumper, he's filling it. This is gonna be good. Bounced around, hung up on the rim and found its way home. He's filling it right now. Riley looking for a guy, he's got his man, and gets it back. And a reset up, Polly's got the ball now. He's looking, looking down low, they're trying to work it inside. Polly up top, sorry that's not Polly. It? No, it's Caden Ellis up top, my bad. Here's Trey, dribbling the ball around, looking for something, trying to work it inside. 
Ball's tipped and knocked out of bounds. It will be Judge Ball. So McMinnie to inbound. He gets it up top to Riley. Riley dribbling, makes a move, drives past, he's fouled. Good call on the reach in. All right, Riley's got the ball. Gets a play call from the coach. And setting up. He's going to get the ball to number 23, Sean McMinimi. Back to Riley. Riley's going to go off the screen. Pull up jumper. And it's good. Knocks it down. Nice shot there by T uh, Tanner Riley. Comes Kearns. Haley crossed the half court line. Gets it over. And Betts got it, works it to the corner. Number 33, Vines, he's gonna let that three fly in and out. Rebound goes to Odwa, and he's gonna take it back up and they'll start possession again. Haley's got the ball. Haley gets it to Vines. Vines gonna drive, push off, no call. Stolen away, here comes Riley, cruising down the court. Lays it up, and in. Another two for Tanner Riley. Got some speed. Here comes Haley. Haley looks the drive. He's gonna drive. Flip it up. Blocked, and they're gonna call a foul. Look pretty clean, but they will give him two free throws. So Haley made the first, and he makes the second. Pretty shot there. Ryan Pauley bringing the ball down. He gets it all over to Tanner Riley. Tanner flips it over to Trey. Trey looking to set up a screen, set up something. It's the number 25, Caden Ellis. Caden Ellis gets the ball back off a pass from Polly. Polly in the middle, flip down, nice pass. Nice, assist. oh, what a pass. Laid it up, missed it, was number 23 of Judge. That would be Sean McMinimi who missed the layup. Great movement there. Here's a three ball, it's no good. And a bet came up a little long on that one. Here comes Judge. Polly pulls up, shoots the three. It's a little long. Rebound goes to Abet. Ebets. Here comes Haley, looking to make a move. Dribbling skills, showing it off. Nice pass underneath. The ball stolen away. Fought for her, and it's going to be. And Kearns is going to come up with it. That's number 12, Zepede. Here's a bet driving. He's going to try to dunk. Doesn't quite get there, but still got the basket. And Kearns will take it anyways. Judge setting up. Working the ball around, Riley's got it. Riley looking around for a play. Goes to Trey, Trey wasn't paying attention, off his back, but they get it back. They look, just kind of like they're not paying too much attention. There's the ball, nice pass from Tanner Riley down low. What a pass, and that goes to Polly for an easy layup, but what a pass. Hit Bet with the ball up top. Gets it over to Haley. Back to Bet. To Zepeda in the far corner. Back to Bet. Setting it up. Wasting the clock away, 34 seconds till the end of the first. 13-13, here's Haley. This is really intense. Zip it up, back to Ebet. <laughs> Again, there is no shot clock in high school, so can dance all they want. It's like prom night. Ebet starting to make a move, it's gonna get exciting. Here's Haley. Haley, back to Ebet. Pass is knocked away, almost stolen. Shot thrown up fast, they had time. And the ball's just gonna be thrown down court and that one the, fir the first quarter at 13 to 13. So here we go, starting the second quarter. Here is Taylor Marti Martinez, Martillez with the ball. He's gonna work it to Haley. He's gonna get it to Zapata. Taylor gets it now. He's gonna get it to Haley. Haley gets it down. Work it back out to Haley. Working the ball around quick. 
Finds with the ball in the corner, passes it one more time, three on the way, and it's short, goes right in the hands of Haley. He lays it up, misses it, and then it's tipped back up and in by number 23, Sione Finu. Riley walks the ball across the half court line. Nice pass again. The kid can put a little stank on that ball. Here's the driving move, throws it up wildly, no good. Rebound, Kearns. It was number 25 that threw it up wildly, Caden Ellis of Judge. Taylor up top, looks it over to Vines. Vines to number 12, Zepeda. Zepeda with the ball, he thought about taking a three, throws it up, and here's Haley, he thought about it too. Haley to Taylor, he drives, kind of step back three, and that's good. Step back three, knocks it down. Taylor Martiz. There's Trey, back to Riley. Riley looking. Riley got it again, works it back over. Trying to, here's a driving move again. Throws it up, no good, rebound, goes to Haley. Caden Ellis trying to get to the hoop, but can't get it. Here's a three from the corner, in and out. And the ball's being fought for. It's gonna be a jump ball, swung around, thrown down. Goes Riley, and the possession goes to Judge. So after a timeout, here comes Judge. The Bulldogs working it inside. There's a good pass. Trying to get an open shot, back down inside. Polly flips it around to uh, Ellis. He flows it up and misses again. Third straight miss for Ellis. Rebound to Odwa. They're coming down in a hurry. They're gonna set up the Ebet and then Taylor up top. Taylor to Brown. Brown thought about a three, doesn't take it. Drives instead, kicks out to Odwa. Odwa up top to Vines. Vine's gonna drive, got some moves, goes up strong, too short, and we got a foul called. So Vine's made the, or missed the first, made the second, but the second was waved off because of a lane violation on Kearns, so no points there. Here's Trey with the ball for Judge. S sending uh, some guys around directing traffic. It's at the 44 who is Connor Mayer, up top Riley. Riley waves off Ellis. Riley looking, goes to the corner, trying to get it. There's a back door, Trey wide open in the back, didn't get it to him. Trey gets it, now to Ellis, back up top. Trey back up top to number 35, which is Basili. Here's Riley with an open three, and that's good. Tanner Riley knocks down a big three, it's 18 to 16. Not too sure about the score. Did they give him that point? I thought the rest were it off on that free throw. I'm not sure. As of now, it looks like it's on the board. Here's a pull up three by Vines. It's no good. Judge with the ball. Bradley's got it. Works it over to Trey. Trey directing traffic again to Riley. Riley works it over to Milad. Milad. To number 44, that was Mayer, and he's fouled. All right, so they had a little talk about it. They did take the point off the board, so it is 17 to 16. That free throw didn't count. Now here we go. Nice pass from Riley underneath. The ball was lost by number 23 as he went up. Then he tried to save it, threw it. Here's another save. Opportunity's out of bounds. It will be Judge Ball. Number 23 was Sean McMinimi. So here comes Riley. Riley gonna make a move, looking, pull up jumper. His foot was on the line, short anyways. Rebound goes to Kearns, number 15. Derry and Brown. Brown to Taylor. Taylor to Betts. Goes back up top to Brown. To Odwa. Odwa to A. Betts. Looks to make a move. These guys got some dribbling skills. Spinu to Taylor. Pull up three from Brown. That's way long. And player from Judge is pushed in the back. It will be an offensive foul, and it will be Judge Ball. So 
So here comes Riley. Trying to get inside and he does. There's a move, there's a foul on the play and it'll be judge ball. There's a pass right into Riley. He flips it up and in just like that. 18 to 17 in favor of Judge. Momentum shifting and a timeout goes to Kearns. So here comes Kearns looking to go get something going after that timeout. Vines with the ball. I hear he's great in six second bursts. If you catch that joke, you know what Vine is. Here's Vines. Vines looking to make a move, drives in strong, flips it up, and it's good. Counted, he's fouled. He'll get a free throw as well. Free throw, no good. Rebounded Judge. So he couldn't connect on the three-point play. It's 19 to 18 in favor of Kearns. Riley gets the ball to Bazi. Here's Ellis to Trey. Trey gets it to 23. That's McMinimi. Riley's got it now. Riley looking. Milad gets it. Here's Ellis with the ball. Looking to get an open shot. Tanner Riley's got it. Riley doesn't use the screen, goes the other way. Goes in strong, fouled, and he'll get two shots at the free throw line. So the second free throw is good. And here comes Kearns. Odaw with a quick pass down low. Easy layup. Nice pass there and way to see the open guy from Oda. And Brown was able to lay it right up and in. Here's Riley trying to direct some traffic. Gets it over to Ellis. Ellis looking, gets it up top to McMinimi. He flips it over. Here's the three shot blocked. And they're gonna fight for the ball. We get a foul called on Kearns. So McMinimi misses, but they get the rebound and put it back up and in. And that came from Ellis. Here's Odwa. Looking to make a move, gets it to Brown. Brown's got the ball. Flips across court to Vines. Vines wasting some time. Vines drives, kicks it to Brown. Brown thought about going to the hole, didn't it? Takes it back up top. Oda with the ball now. And they're letting this clock tick down again. 21-21, left till half. Here's Ebet. Ebet looking, gets it up top to Vines. Vines gets it to Zepeda. He takes a step back jumper. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound to Z Vines. <laughs> Vines. The ball stripped away and out of bounds. It will be Kern's ball with 1.1 seconds left. Brown to inbound. Brown looking, gets it in to Zepeda. He throws it up at the buzzer too long and it will be 21 to 21 going into halftime. So here we go to start off the second half. Brown comes down with it to Ebets. Vet to Haley, up top to Vines. Vines to Brown, to Haley, to the Vet. Vet uses the screen from Odwa. Looking to make a move, he does, drives strong. Good help defense, the shot rolls off, rebound goes to Judge. Tanner Riley on the rebound, and he's gonna get it to Ellis. Ellis to Riley, back to Ellis, looking to make a move. Ellis drives, flips it to Polly. He goes in strong, throws it up off the glass, no good. Rebound, goes to Odwa. Coming down court quick for Kearns. Gonna slow it up. And they're gonna set up now, Vines with the ball. Vines gets it over to uh, Haley, and now Abet's got it. Abet to Brown, to Odwa. Odwa looks to make a move, kinda lost it. Gets it back, goes in strong, flips it up, blocked! That's a big block by Ellis. 
Here comes Riley with a nice pass down to Polly. He goes in strong, slows it up and in. Count it, he's fouled. He gets a shot at the line. So setting up traffic is Taylor. He gets it to Vines. Vines to Bet, to Brown. Brown to Vines, Vines open, takes the three, it's on the way, and it's good! Some full court pressure by Ibet, trying to keep the ball out of Riley's hands. Ellis forced to bring it up. Ellis goes off the screen, drives in strong, flips it up and in! How did he get that off? Nearly blocked, got it up and in. 26 to 24 in favor of Judge. Here's the bet. He's gonna show off his dribbling since gets it out. Might have got fouled there, no call. Vines with it, shake and bake. Vines thought about popping the three, doesn't. Gets it to Taylor. He's gonna drive, pulled it up, stopped his dribble. Here's a bet with the three, that's a little long. Rebound goes to Judge, and that's number 15 from Judge Polly. He's gonna slow it up. He gets it to Tanner Riley. Riley uh, uses his screen. Riley gets it to Trey, flips back to Riley. Underneath, fade away, shot up and good, knocks it down. My lookout player of the game gets another basket, 28 to 24. Taylor directing traffic, setting up the play, telling people where to go. Gets it to the bets. A bet up top to Taylor. To the bet. That cross court to Brown. Taylor's setting it up again. A bet. Are they trying to get it down to Old Wall in the paint? Nope. A bet's going to go. It's going to drive in. Go up and under. Flip it up. No foul call. Somehow gets it. The roll in there. And another two for a bet. Here comes Riley. Riley crosses the half-court line, looks to make a move. Gets the ball to Trey. Trey going to work it back up top towards the middle. Gets it to the right corner to Polly. Polly inside to Riley. Riley going to drive, fadeaway shot, up, nope, runs off, rebound by number 23, put back up, didn't go, that was McMinnie, mid the rebound. Here's the bet out on the run, three, two, one on three, loses the ball, it's knocked out of bounds, it will be Kearns basketball. Taylor inbounds it. To Vines, gets it up to Bet, works it over to Brown. Down to Bet, down low to Odwa on a back screen. Nope, he had a wide open, easy layup. Couldn't get it to go, though. It wasn't that easy of a layup. But he couldn't get it to go. And Judge takes over. They're going to have the ball four minutes left in the third. Ellis with the ball, looking to work it. Riley gets knocked down, he gets back up, and we've got a foul called on Kearns. This is the inbound pass from Mini-Me. To Trey, Trey gets it to 15. Polly with a deep three, it's long, rebound, fought for. Ellis almost came up with it, but Odua ends up with it. He's coming down court, makes a move. These guys got some killer crossovers. Taylor thought about a three, doesn't take it. Gets it to Brown. Brown dribbles it back out, gets it to Odua up top. Up top, kind of dropped the ball. Gets it back, Taylor. Here's a bet in the corner. Bet in the back up top, gets it to Brown. Dead middle of the court. Looks to make a move, loses it between his legs. And got it back, Vines with the ball now. Vines looks to make a move, he drives, double team, and we got a charge call. Both feet were firmly planted by Riley and he got the charge call. So the six foot five freshman, fit number 52, Ben Davis checks in. Young but big, let's see what he can do. Here comes Riley, crosses the timeline. Riley to Ellis. He's going to get in in the Big Ben. Big Ben turn with the hook, throws it up. It's good! And one! Nice little hook shot. And the freshman, Ben Davis, gets the basket to go. Davis's free throws up and good, so he gets the three point play. Here's the bet crossing the uh, timeline. To Odua, back to the bet. Gets it to Haley. Haley looks to make a move. Goes off the screen of Vine. Pulls up jumper from the free throw line. In and out. Rebound to Big Ben. Tips it out to Ellis. And here comes Judge. Riley's got the ball. Riley to Polly, and we got a wave, uh, timeout. 
So after the timeout, the ball's inbounded to Riley. Riley guarded by Brown. Ellis with the ball. Ellis works it down low to Polly. Polly loses it out of bounds, and it's going to be Kern's ball. Here's Haley. Gets it to Yvette. Picked up his dribble, now gets it to Brown. Or, no, that's Haley. Haley back to Yvette. Over to Vines. Vines, thought about a pull up. Gets to the bet. Haley on the far left side. Gets to the brown up middle. He's going to take a deep three. It's on the way. No good. Rebound. Fought four, and it's going to go up to the hands of number 23, McMinnie Me of Judge. Here comes Riley running the floor quick. Goes to the hole. Pass. Nice little dump off the big bed for an easy layup. Great assist by Riley. Don't forget. <clears throat> Don't forget, I told you he was the lookout player of the game. This time he gets an assist. Here's Oda. Look there. Uh, uh, pull back, Jay didn't take it. Brown's got the ball up top. Brown goes off the screen for Modwa. Holds the ball, gets it up top to Haley. Haley to Vines. Vines looking to make a move. Kids quick. Going to do a step back. Can't get a double team. <clears throat> Flips it to the corner of the bet for three. This one's on the way. No good. Rebound goes to Ellis. Ellis to Riley. And here comes Judge. Look to extend their lead. Here's Polly. Pull up three on the way. Two guys in his face. No, short rebound. Goes to Polly. It's tipped out to him. Nice pass to Big Ben. Lays it up and in. Another two for Big Ben. He's come in with six quick points. A burst for the a burst for the Judge Memorial Bulldogs. Big Ben came in and gave him that boost. And another timeout by Kearns. So here comes Kearns off of their timeout. Judge is playing some sound basketball. Here's Haley, looking to go to the rim, backs back out. Gets the D bet. He bet to Vines. Vines looking at it. Vines drives strong, goes up strong, loses it. Does not able to come through the dunk. Might have been hit on the wrist. No call though. Here comes Riley. Riley to the corner of the poly. Works it in the Big Ben. Big Ben goes up. Strong flips it up and in. Has he missed the shot yet? Big Ben Davis makes another basket. Giving Judge their biggest lead of the game. Vines to Odwa. Odwa driving strong. Double team. Back out to Vines for three. Wide open three. Knocks it down. 20 seconds to the end of the third. 37 to 29. Lead for Judge. Here's Ellis. Ellis holding the ball. They're going to want to take the last shot of the uh, third quarter. Actually, no. They get an open lane. You're going to go up strong. He goes up. Fouled. And he'll get two shots at the free throw line with eight seconds left in the third quarter. Ellis makes the first, he misses the second, rebound, it's knocked away, and Kurtz comes up with it. Here's the bet, six seconds left till the end of the third. Here's Odoa, long three, NBA range, short rebound to the Bulldogs, thrown up, it's not gonna count. Anyways, and it is 38 to 29 at the end of the third quarter. Judge up by nine, eight minutes to go, here to start the fourth quarter. 38 to 29 is the score, Ellis, has the ball, gets it to Polly. Back to Ellis. Polly gets it down low to Ben. He loses it, saves it, and Beck comes up with it. He's going down, he gets fouled, and it'll be Kern's ball. So here's Haley with the ball. He gets it to Vines. Vines back to Haley. To Fanu, ball knocked away, but grabbed by Haley. Fanu up top to Vines. Vines dribbling, looking to make a move, does. Goes to his left, throws it up, blocked, and they're going to call a foul. Vines missed the first. The second is up, and it's no good. Rebound to McMinnie. He gets it to Riley, and here come the Bulldogs. Riley guarded by Yvette. Riley to McMinnie. He gets it to Polly. Riley down, back to the hoop, gonna look to do a fadeaway, traveled and they called it. Oh no, oh they're gonna call an offensive foul. Wasn't sure about the offensive foul, looked like it traveled to me. Here's the bet to Haley, Haley gets the Odwa. Odwa steps inside the three point line with a jumper, high arcing, no good. Rebound, the, the Bulldogs running down court is Polly. he lays it up and in. Took some contact on it and was still able to put it in. Here comes Vines back down quick. He's quickly triple team. Flips it out to Haley. Haley to Odwa. Odwa back to Haley. 
Haley up top to bet. Timeout, Kearns. 11 point lead for the Judge Memorial Bulldogs. Here's Kearns. Taylor up top, direct in traffic. Calls for Vines to get the ball, gets it back to Taylor. Taylor to Vines. Back to Taylor. Set the free throw line, picked up his dribble to the bet. He's going to throw up a three. This one's off the front of the rim. Rebound goes to McMinnie. Hands it off the rally, and they control. Just over six minutes left in the game. McMinnie with the ball. He gets it over to Ellis. Ellis spins, gets it to Polly. Polly down low, bad pass, goes out of bounds. Was it touched? It was by a bet. It will be Judge Ball. Here's the inbounds pass to Trey. Trey up top to Riley. Riley looking low to Ellis, can't get it there, throws it to the other side to McMinnie. McMinnie -me gets it to Ellis. And there's a way from the ball foul on Kearns. So there's the inbounds pass up top to Ellis. Ellis tries to drive, backs it back out. Gets it to Riley. Bet nearly jumped it. Bet throwing a little shoulder into the, sh <laughs> the chest of uh, Ellis. Riley gets it to, that's 15 Polly. He's gonna back his way in. Ball's knocked away by Bet. He takes it away. Riley strips it away. Bet gets it back and he's fouled. And uh, I'm not sure if we're in the one-on-one -on -one situation yet. We'll find out. Inbounds pass goes to Haley. 5.20 left in the ball game. On the corner is Brown. Brown gets it to Oda. Oda up top to Haley. Waiting for a screen, he gets a screen. He goes strong to the hoop, throws it up, no good. Here comes Ellis with the ball. He's gonna throw it up wildly off the glass. Not really wildly, he just threw it up too strong. Here comes Kern on the run. Riley slows it down, ball loose. Riley gets it. Riley gonna take it himself, laid up and in. Timeout, Kearns. So that was, so so that was actually an injury timeout. Ryan Pauley, team captain, seems to have hurt his ankle. So here comes Kearns. Brown's gonna drive, pick up his dribble, force the kick it back out to Abet. Abet works it up top to Haley. Haley to Brown, pull up three on the way, and that's no good. Rebound, fought for, loose ball foul on Ellis of Judge. So Brown to inbounds. Kearns has got to get something going very quick. Four minutes and 30 seconds left. 42 to 29. Here's Brown up top. Brown left, he's got a few steps. Doesn't want to pop that shot. Here's Odwa. Tried to go in, backed it out. A bet now, far left corner. He's gonna drive, nice crossover move. Goes up strong, he doesn't get it to go, but he's fouled, he'll get two shots at the free throw line. So a bet makes the first, and the second is good. Gets it to rattle in. Here's Riley, dealing with some four-court pressure. Loses the ball, gets it back. I'm not sure if that ball was even touched. Riley goes in strong. Very close, could have been a traveling. I'm not sure if it was touched. Doesn't get it to go. Here comes Kearns. Brown pulls up, decides to take that three. On the way, no good. Could have been huge, didn't get it, but Odwa comes up with it, fighting for it. Ball goes out of bounds, off of Kearns. No foul calls. I think it's a good call, and it will be Judge's ball. Minimi to inbounds. He gets it in to Riley. Riley ahead, mini me pump fakes, gets a nice drive. Here's Ellis, the full court pressure they got by it. Riley got the ball up top. Tells uh, Ellis to bug off, <laughs> goes the other way. Here's Ellis with the ball now. Ellis to mini me. He wakes it over the tray. Trey looking to get it to Riley. He has to throw a wild one. Riley dives, calls timeout. Did he call timeout? No! They say he didn't gain possession in time. Slid out of bounds. It will be Kern's ball. The bad pass from Trey costs Judge. Here comes the bet. The bet drives strong. Uh, he gets fouled and he'll get two shots. Abet made the first. Second one is good too. It's down to a nine point game with 3.18 left. Ball inbounded to Riley. He gets crossed half court and takes the timeout. So here we go, ball inbounded to Riley. It's stolen, but Riley gets it back. It was tipped away, Riley got it back. Great bite by Abet. Riley going in strong, goes up, lays it right up. No, too hard. Rebound to Haley. Haley comes down quick. Gets it to Odoa, who can't control it. Ball's loose. Odoa gets it, throws it back out to Brown, or Haley. Haley up top to Vines. 
Vine's looking, pulls up with a deep three on the way, no good. These game-changing moments just won't go in the favor of Kearns. <clears throat> Riley bringing the ball down, cross half court. 2.45 left, Ellis with the ball. Ellis to Bazazi. Bazazi looking, swinging some elbows, guarded by Odwa, he's all over him. He's gotta make a move. Finally gets it to Ellis down at the top corner of the three throw line, drives strong, throws it up, he's rejected! What a big block by Fio, uh, <coughs> Finu. Finu with a huge block. Here's Vines, thinking about three, he travels. He travels, moved his pivot foot as he went to drive. Kearns has had plenty of chances. Oh, we got away from the ball foul on Vines here. That looked like a frustration foul on Vines there. Uh, threw his forearms into McMinnie Me, who's shooting a three throw. It's on the way, no good. Rebound, goes to Vines. Kind of worked out in their favor. Ball stolen by Riley from a bet. He leads the team, the Bulldogs, and uh, steals. Ball spot for rolling around. It's going to be Curran's ball. Oh my, this hustle by both teams all over the place. So, from between all this uh, intense action, I forgot to say that Polly, Ryan Polly, team captain, has come back in. He's kind of favoring that ankle, but he decided to tough it out and come back in for this big game. Here's an offensive foul. On Kearns, two minutes left, nine point game. Judge with the ball, they got the lead. Here's Polly, he got it. Let's see how that ankle holds up. Ellis has the ball now. Ellis looks, he's got open lane, drives it, goes up strong, he's fouled. A bet got him across the back of the head and he'll get two shots at the three throw line. Ellis makes the first, the second is good too. It's 44 to 33 with a minute 52 left. Taylor messing around with the ball, now picks it up. Here's Odwa, who drives it strong. We got an offensive foul on Taylor. And it will be Judge Ball. So after the questionable call, the ball's inbounded to Riley. Riley gets it down to the Big Ben. The freshman had it, tossed it to Polly. Double team on, Riley's got the ball now. And we got a foul. Riley made the first and he makes the second. 13 point lead with a minute 35 left. Here comes Brown. Brown looking to get it off a quick shot. And he does, a jumper, and that's no good. Rebound goes to Judge. And Polly has it, throws it down to McMimi. Had a chance for a layup, but they're gonna back it out wisely, wasting time. Ellis with the ball, he's gonna drive, kicks it to Riley. Riley guarded tightly by Brown. Tries to drive, lost it, and it's gonna be Kern's ball. So, here comes Haley. Haley looking, drives in strong. We had a foul, I think, before the shot. Haley made the first, missed the second, rebound to Ellis. Here come the Bulldogs, Riley's got it. 57 seconds left in the ball game. Here's Trey with the ball, looking to run out the clock. Here's Riley, it's a big Ben. Ben to Trey. Gonna keep working this clock as long as they can. Here's Ellis. Ellis to Riley, 30 seconds left. Riley gets the screen. Now he gets it to Polly. Polly looking good on the ankle, timeout, Judge. So here's Judge working the ball around. And just trying to tick off that last remaining bit of the clock. Got a whole bunch of uh, uh, subs in. There's nine seconds left, still gotta work it. Crowd from Judge stands up, gives him a hand. Team up, game over. It is 46 to 34, the final score in favor of the Bulldogs over the Cougars. The game tonight, <coughs> my lookout player was Tanner Riley and he did deliver. But really the game changed when Big Ben Davis came into the game. The freshman at six foot five was able to get some quick points in a row. I think he had nine in a row and really changed this momentum of the game. That's it from Kerms High from Xfinity On Demand. This is Game Rewind. I'm Austin Wolford.